Hello, Chiefers. Um, going over using your plan set as um, your print set and, and basically using layout as a print server is, is what I've been doing. It's the best way I can describe it right now. Um, I've been pushing this method uh, and, and mentioning this method in the Chief Talk forums. Um, and so, just a couple of reasons I do this. Uh, we've got there's some versatility built into this. Um, some some integration uh, and speed I think it's faster and so without you know getting too much into any one of those details what we're looking at right now is a site plan and um, right off the bat some of the things that I had to work around in developing this system was one I needed to figure out a way to do a page index that made sense and so my page index uh, pulls a plan view um, for the plan title for the page title excuse me and then I'm using a note with a note schedule so a note that's the note type is a sheets I've got an a in front of the simple schedule number uh, if we open this up we can take a look at that um, an a in front of this simple schedule number here you can see that with a little hyphen and then I list the title of that sheet which is the site plan so you can see right here that I could actually reorder these just simply by dragging and you know relocating these right so the framing plan just became a3 uh, so simple enough um, and then the only other trick here is if you got multiple scales running through your drawings maybe the system just isn't the right system for you but it is still doable like right now my site plan is going to be at an eighth inch scale and because of that, I took a drawing sheet and I just I took a drawing sheet at a quarter inch scale for ANSI D and then I blew it up um, for eighth inch scale. And this allows me to, to place the drawing sheet anywhere I want um, in order to place the site plan on the drawing sheet. So I'm compiling my pages in plan and that's um, convenient because I don't need to keep switching back and forth to layout to kind of compile my sheets right I can just do it straight from here so let's just switching to like my foundation plan same thing is you know this is um, this is the building you can grab it modify elements right on what's going to be your final print right so I can um, I can change where my drawing sheet is but really I wanted to keep it in the same place for all of my uh, plan views which is my floor plan foundation plan roof plan electrical plan I wanted all that to be uh, in the exact same place so that when you switch from from one to the next you can see that the building is is lined up I don't need to, I don't have any alignment issues so those are some of the benefits um, you can see I'm drawing CAD straight onto the sheet and another benefit is I can hit control P right now and well actually I've got some screen elements that are off page so that doesn't quite work but keep in mind that my computer is really gonna be very slow right now because we're recording in 4k at the same time I'm trying to demonstrate this so it really slows my computer down significantly but um, this is another reason I do this is because the speed of the drawing and plan is much faster than that of layout especially if you've got some PDFs or images on the screen um, when they get to the layout it's it's really slow to navigate but in plan it's snappy it's quick it's sharp so now if I hit control P I'm, I'm gonna be able to print straight from this plan view and so if I needed to do a quick markup for the field it's just so much more convenient. I don't need to mess with layout and, and move elements around. I can move elements around in my plan view and print straight from plan an individual sheet. Or I can print individual sheets of every plan view and compile the entire thing. I wouldn't even need layout. So if you look at my layout sheet, and let's just go to our page zero, you can see there's nothing there. I'm just sending my str sheets straight to this layout and I mean the only kind of tweak I've done is um, you know changing it from from color to black and white if I wanted to and you know I, I don't know I, I really don't feel like I even need layout which has always been my thought is I don't even want to use it and most of the hiccups and the problems I've run into uh, for not using layout I've been able to get through um, in some way or another in plan and I and I don't feel like um, there's been any negative drawbacks for those workarounds 
And so some kind of cool things, instead of sending CAD details and, and not having them be quite so dynamic, here I've got details and I'm using, this isn't quite finished yet, this plant that's not finished yet, but I'm using notes and a note schedule so I can reorder these notes if I want to. And not only can I reorder them here, but they're reordering um, call outs as well. So this stays really dynamic. There's, there's like built-in error checking for redundancy right and and so the next trick I had to do is elevations and so elevations is one of those things that I need layout to print those elevations and unless I wanted to um, utilize CAD details and, and just orient CAD details on the sheet I happen to like shadows in my elevations even though that's kind of a new gimmicky thing um, but if I did away with shadows it would be really easy to just print this straight from plan as well. But instead of that, and maybe that's for next set, but instead of that, all I did was I took one elevation, I dropped my drawing sheet on there, I put my label in there, which is still dynamic, it's still a note and it's dynamic, and then I sent that to layout. And then now you're getting that typical behavior of layout, which is I've got multiple views sent to this particular sheet. But like I said before, if I just didn't care about the shadows, it would be very easy to do the same thing as I was doing with those other views. So maybe this brings up some questions for people um, trying to figure out you know, how you get around some of this stuff. But uh, all in all, I've been really happy with this system and I, and I keep promoting the system. Um, you know, Macros can be utilized in, in your actual um, title block and, and the macros can reference things in the plan itself um, so everything's really dynamic and there's really no limitations for um, what you can draw information from with this system so uh, if this piques any interest if you can come up with any questions or, or curiosities or, or maybe some use cases where this just simply won't work uh, you know that's worth noting so uh, there we go thank you